This is so much harder with a baby. Someone's been busy. Got lots of good yummy pickles fermenting. I have repotted some succulents and started on some succulent cuttings from leaf cuttings. I'm thinking about doing some YouTube videos for houseplants and succulents. I've had one before where my daughter Vivian came in and we did some cuttings. But I was thinking about doing some more. What do you guys think of that? For those of you that uh, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, or TikTok, you probably already have seen some of the stuff where um, I've done a few short clips on succulents and houseplants and stuff. So it's easy for me to do short little clips and post them to TikTok and then it posts to my Instagram story and then I can share it on my Facebook group. So if you're in any of those, then you've probably seen it. But if you're not, go on and check it out. It's Wholesome Roots on TikTok, Wholesome Roots on Instagram. And then on Facebook, our group is called Wholesome Roots Farmstead Friends. And I also have a Facebook page that's called that's called Wholesome Roots Passionate Plants. Passionate Plants is what it started out as long before I had a vlog. When I was just doing all of my education through Facebook, that's what it was called. So when I started my vlogging on YouTube, I picked up the name Wholesome Roots. So I like it. I think it works for us. Ducks are still molting. They are not laying stinky ducks. They make a mess of their water, I'll tell you. I forgot to introduce you to our new babies when I did our homestead update. Uh, we got some eggs from a friend in Florida, and this is what we got. Say hello. Say hi. Hey, babies. So we have one turkey that made it from the eggs that we were trying to hatch. And we have, uh, what do we have, three? Yeah, three breast dual purpose meat and egg layers. Um, we were intending to use these guys as our meat stock. So if we can get a rooster and some hens, which it looks like we do, we have definitely have one rooster. And then we had a bonus lavender orpington in there. So she's at the back. She's hiding behind the turkey right now, so you can't really see her. I'll try to go around to the other side and see. Oh. <laughs> she literally ran away as I turned on the camera. Where is she? There she is. Hey, pretty girl. She's beautiful. So she may be separated at some point and put in with the laying hands. But these are just our babies still, even though they look full grown. They're just babies. Sweet babies. We've always wanted to do a meat flock, but the um, Cornish breed is not one that we would do. And so we were gonna do Freedom Rangers. We tried Beal Filters. We hatched them out and I forget what happened that year. We ended up selling like all of our chicks that year, I think is what happened, is we had so many that we just ended up selling and we sold them all. So <laughs> we need to try Bielfelders again, I think, but if these guys work out, we won't need to. Um, we'll see how that works. I like the idea of having a meat breed that's sustainable on its own. So if, it, if they lay eggs, and they're healthy at older ages, unlike the Cornish, then we can grow out our own, hatch our own, 
and not have to be buying from the hatcheries on a regular basis because that's not a very sustainable approach. Good morning. Good morning, hearts. They all have to poke their little noses up to the door to say good morning. Good morning, ladies. Hello, Rita Girl. Shady Girl. Smiling, Shady. I'm smiling. Oh, hello, beautiful ladies. Oh, hello. Good morning, Kitty. Good morning, Zika. Hello, Autumn. Hello, beautiful girl. Hello. So, we had another attempt to dig out this end of the gate. So Ryan just put that concrete down. So he had an extra barrier with this big pecan log and the pallet to make sure she couldn't dig through. So now the entire gate is concrete. I think it might be time to harvest some of these pumpkins. The vines are starting to die back. I don't know if it's from the heat or the bugs. Um, some of them are still green. But there are plenty that are bright orange. Oh yeah, this one's already starting to go bad on the side. Some bugs have gotten to it. Oh, there's a rotten one in there. Yep, we better start pulling them so the bugs don't get them before the goats can eat them. The goats absolutely love their pumpkin snacks. They're great nutritional benefits and they help keep them strong and healthy. Oh yeah, the bugs are moving in here. Those are squash bug eggs. So in no time, there won't be anything left of this vine. Much harder with the baby. Odin woke up. I have the monitor with me at all times. And as I was about to bring the hay out, I heard, oh, uh, 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 uh. so I had to go scoop him up and bring him out to finish chores with mommy. Fun times. Mm. He's a good boy. You good baby. Yeah, you good baby. Yes, you are. You such a good baby. Happy boy. Kitty girls were trying to put some weight on, but not too bad for a season of kidding complete. I just wanted to update you guys on the tomatoes. You can see they have got a ton of root growth and they are ready to be planted. I don't have time to do that today. Not with the baby. It is entirely too hot out here for him to be held in a baby carrier because our body heat combined is just too much so he's getting frustrated with the sunlight in his eyes and the heat so it's time for mama to go in so although it is hard to homestead with a baby a newborn it is doable I can get my basic functions done the basic animal chores taken care of and little short projects done at a time. So that's what I do. So when he goes down for his next nap, I'll do the next thing. And I just get a little bit done at a time and not as much as I used to, but it's so worth it. This sweet boy in our life. <laughs> 